Straight razor shaves are a part of barbering that's so ingrained that that's what makes you a barber. The only profession that is allowed to apply a razor to someone's face is a licensed barber. They're, they're trained specifically in it. Um, they're coached through the whole process. Straight razor shaving has been around for as long as barbering's been there. Um, back in the day, they didn't have Bix and safety razors and quad razors and, and all that. When you wanted to remove the facial hair from your face, you went to see your barber. You went to, back in the 1800s, you could go get a bath in the barber shop as well. Um, today, straight razor face shaves are a luxury. They're a luxury in a couple senses. One is you can't find too many guys that'll do a straight razor face shave. It's very, very prestigious for you to be able to do a full face shave on someone and do it correctly. Um, you're not a barber in my book unless you can shave a face. And that doesn't mean using an electric razor. That means using a straight razor. And I give you the fact that if you can't use a traditional razor and hone and strop, I'll accept that. There's injector blades for the guys that aren't able to hone and strop. The older generation, such as my father, um, they'll tell you, look, I don't have the same eye-hand coordination. It takes a, a combination of the two. Um, the younger generation that's getting into it, aren't being trained properly to understand that that's the tradition of the of the industry and why you should be able to use a razor. Um, some guys just can't do it. Their hands are a little too shaky and that, that's acceptable but at least you should know the you should have the basis of, of straight razor shaving. Probably 25 to 30 percent of my business is is some form of razoring. I have clients that that have standing appointments twice a month, every couple of months, um, to come in and get a haircut and they come kick back and they get a full face shave. It's a luxury. It's like a woman getting a, a pedicure or a manicure or a facial. It's that, that equivalent. Hey gents, thanks for watching this video with my barber Vince and give a thumbs up if you know the importance of having a great clean haircut. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of Vince and these barber videos. Also, I cover the best menswear on the internet if you want to learn about looking great and buying the best clothing. Comment below if you have more questions about barbering or grooming like a gentleman and click here if you want to have some more details about the series that I did with Vince. Check out the thumbnails for additional topics that I covered, and as I publish those videos, I will make the links active. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. It's interesting because I get a lot of women that will call me for gift certificates. Um, they don't know what to get their husband or boyfriend and, and one in particular, which she was funny, she was a young girl, she called me up and she said, uh, she says, look, she goes, do you do those mafia style face shaves? And I'm like, mafia? I said, what, you want me to kill someone? She said, no, no, no. I, she said, uh, you know, you see in a movie that they're getting those, those shaves. I said, you mean a straight razor face shave? She goes, yeah. She goes, I want to get my boyfriend something unique. I don't know what to get him as a little filler. And um, do you sell gift certificates? I said, sure. So she came in and she bought a couple of them. And she was on cloud nine. She thought this was so great and so neat. Um, I personally would love to get a straight razor face shave. But until the industry picks back up and, and you young generation 
start embracing the necessity to learn that art and that skill, um, I, I have a hard time. And it's not the same me straight razoring my own face. It just doesn't feel the same. The industry can be very, very kind to you. It can be very lucrative for you. Um, I think the, the three main points are, as in anything, you have to have integrity. You have to have a good personality. And you really have to know how to cut hair and shave faces. With that being said, um, you approach the industry that way, you'll be a success.